Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fenton Taste Wasteland 3 walkthrough video. This time we're going to wrap up two types of missions. First of all, we're going to wrap up the side mission, Thicker Than Water, then the story mission, Unwelcome Guests. Also, we're going to do Full House too because once you complete Unwelcome Guests and did all the other requirements, well, guess what? You finished that too. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland 3 videos like this. And do not forget that notification bell to be updated and more. So let's load up into the Kodiak and go to this homestead first. Wake up, 1-9. This here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You reading me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Well, I am so glad she is back. She was one of the default characters in Wasteland 1 or Wasteland 1 Remastered in Wasteland 2. She was actually a character you could recruit until you got to the second point of the game. Plus, she was perfect bait for that 8 to 10 hour trophy slash achievement too. Yeah, I spread it all over Twitter. Now, I could not do the Monster Army Bunker one because radiation, I need my vehicle upgrade. Basically, you need full house completed. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is go to the homestead and get myself ready to uh, go ahead and get further into thicker than water. And we have finally arrived. So let's go on inside and see what's up. You made it. Thanks for helping out the old Get family. Homestead is right up the road. Any luck, Rangers? Can't thank you enough for looking out for my family. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks. Now we're going to face these animals. Here's the thing. 
they will toss poison uh, quills at you. Yeah, you could get poison. Now, you want to use a decoy or a turret in case you're really serious in trouble against those. Either one will uh, do. They cannot be poisoned. Make sure you have antidote on you at all times. At least we bring about, I say, 10 to 15. So let's go ahead and start the battle or return when it's over. <laughs> Well, I did it. Now I have to heal everybody of poison, the ones who are poisoned. Yep, there you go. Sammy's all right. And let me uh, see. Yeah, Lucia Wesson, she's all right too. I'm going to get rid of her though once I uh, get that certain companion. That's it. She's a, she's a good shot, but yeah, I could do better. Now, if I was doing Supreme Jerk mode, yeah, I just pump her uh, strength up like crazy by awareness too, and she'll be a deadly aim. Now let's go ahead and level up. First of all, we got Jody Bell. Let's get our awareness maxed out. Then I'll eventually we'll do strength in the uh, far future. Let me see. First aid. Sniper rifle. There you go. She has that for seven. And let's see what else I can get for her. Now, th this, this one's good. Concentration. The thing is, as long as you do not move for one turn, you get a nice buff of 10% hit. The others are alright, but I prefer that one because... That hit chance. In other words, my targets hit. That's great. If I could do headshots or certain, uh, what do you call it, things that explode like the flame tanks. Yeah, that's great. From here on out, probably for like two or three levels, I'm going to start upgrading my character's con towards five. Which is actually strength. Yeah, you get strength of five. I think you're set. 
Okay, there you go. Let me see anybody else. I need a level. Nope. Look like everybody's fine. Okay, we're going to loot everything up. Just uh, go ahead and search. Oh, this, something was discovered. Yep, there you go. And yeah, we found some gold nuggets. Yes, this is really nice. I can remember I got to start saving those for uh, green when it gets its barter to uh, 10. Now, the thing is, we're going to go ahead and repair this, get some more loot, which is really nice. Loot is always good in this game. And let's see what's inside. What we discover a frag grenade. Extremely useful. Now, I did find out recently as I was looking through my footage that. Yeah, AR weapons are the weakest now. Well, I mean, I'm experimenting in this uh, game. Rocket launchers are the strongest. I have melee weapons, which is good. Sniper rifles are uh, powerful, as you notice. I'll probably go to say revolver and shotgun. I did try out shotgun in this one trophy slash achievement run. That thing is really powerful. I know which character I'm going to focus on being my shotgun guy. Okay, the thing is, I am not freeing the goat. And I'm going to use Sammy to disable this. And there you go. And come on, Sammy. You just got to be lucky. And there. Nice. Repair kit. Now, up ahead be more of uh, those uh, creatures that throws poison at you. Get your antidotes ready. Uh, at this point, what I do is I drop the decoy, then drop a turret. You're asking, why is that? Nice choke point. They'll be aiming for those more than the uh, rangers. Maybe once in a while, throw some stray... Uh, poison quills at us which is not good I'm gonna get everybody set up and I'm gonna go ahead and straight up murder these animals
Well, that was really fun. I got myself set up a nice choke point. Uh, eventually, I might have to just spin on decoys and have everybody shoot from afar. Yeah, just uh, definitely that. So, let's check the bodies. Now, we're looking for survivors. Yeah, we're asked to look for survivors. If there's any bandits, we kill them too. Unfortunately, that door is locked. Well, it looks like nobody really survived, but there's a door. We're going to go ahead and open on up. Oh, God. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. I'm... Unless... You have some more candies? Yeah, candies! They're the best part, these! Mercy, I think I'm gonna be sick. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. Oh well, it's okay. More candies for Anita. Bad men came from the flatlands. Mummy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mummy and Daddy and the bad men are gone, but there's lots of candy. This poor girl. Oh man, I... No, Mommy said never trust a stranger. Daddy said never take candy from a stranger, but that isn't fair. I want candy! If you bring me some candies, then I will be your friend. There were some candies in the other house. But they're scary doggies. I know. You go get the candies, and I'll stay here. Don't shout at me! I'll come, I'll come! You won't melt like Mommy and Daddy, right? I didn't like it. Except for the jump ropes they made me. That was okay. I like those. Um, can I bring them? Yay! You're not actually so mean, are you? We can be friends. Do you want to be friends? I'll teach you how to talk to the moon, okay? But you have to be real quiet. Real quiet. And you gotta eat a few dreams first. Yeah, she wanted some candy. That's a reference from Wasteland 1 and 2 on a certain creature. I'm calling the Candy Monster. I had to persuade her to uh, come with us. We're going to do that. Afterwards, we'll go ahead and explore the area before we uh, go. So let's go ahead and turn this side mission in. Nia? Nia, is that you? I don't know how to thank you, Rangers. My, my little sister, safe and sound and all in one piece, but... Wait, what about everyone else? Oh, hell. I was afraid you were gonna say that. But at least you saved Nita. I, I, I am grateful for that. Come on, sis. You're safe now. You're okay. Hey, let's get you somewhere warm, yeah? Thank you again, Rangers. Once I get her settled in, I'll come over to your base. Don't know if you still need a mechanic, but, well, it's the least I can do. Great news! We got ourselves someone working in the garage, too. Oh, don't worry, we'll get more people working in the garage for us. An actual crew. Oh, I forgot to loot that. So, here's the uh, deal. We're gonna loot up the rest of this house. I could not before because, yeah. We found Survivor there, even though she wants candy. Yeah, I'm starting to think of that one uh, creature from Wasteland 1 and 2. Yeah, that creature. Watch my LP series on Wasteland 1. Still, we're going to go ahead and search everywhere. Oh, wow, that is tragic. Yeah, and oh, good, a key. We could not get in that door earlier. I'm guessing that key is going to be really useful. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and be a little bit uh, sly about it. We're going to open up this door. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's uh, pull this off. Waiting for my, uh, what do you call it, pick lock person to come here. 
Yeah, I got Sammy one point in that. That was only uh, temporarily. And, oh, wow, this is really nice. And look at that. Bullets. Yeah. Seriously, bullets. And more shotgun ammo. We're going to start needing those. And this is someone. Now, I'm guessing if we could not persuade her to leave the house, we would have done was uh, probably got the key, remove the fingers, and call it candy. However, we didn't do that. Okay, so that's safe. That's a good sign. And yeah, medical darts. I will start to have to need to uh, have Luis and uh, Jody Bell equip those. Well, actually, more of Luis. Jody Bell lately has been my mechanic tossing things. Well, it will still have... It was really nice to have another medic, though. He, she's a good companion, though. Really good one. So let's get on out of here and head back to Colorado Springs downtown. Because next stop, what we're going to do is go ahead and start complete unwelcome guest. Yeah, it took about, let's see, 22 minutes in the video to actually get to that point. But we had to do a side mission. Yeah, you want to do that side mission first. Now I'm going to go ahead and level up. Um, I'm going to knock. I was at the time, I was not going to do strength. But I'm going to say from here on out from this episode, I'm going to get everybody strength to five and then call it even. So this way to have more uh, con. And then, of course, Luis. I'm probably considering getting hers to uh, 10 since she's going to be my field medic running around the field just to heal too. Well, I'll probably get intelligence too. All right, I got to uh, agree up on that one. I'm thinking about getting my uh, sniper guy up too on intelligence, charisma. Yeah, probably those between those two just to uh, get that, uh, what do you call that, special in faster. And there you go. We're all set. And I think everybody's uh, almost ready, Sammy. Uh, I'm going to do more uh, coordination since she has max strength, a lot of a con or awareness. I don't know. I'm just looking. Yeah, I might just do coordination, make her like a nice uh, tank. She'll just buzz to feel like crazy. Get some points in awareness and balance it out with also intelligence for the crit factor. This looks uh, very good. Explosives. Yeah. Um, no, let's do the other one. Yeah, the persuade one. I want to do is try max between that and I think it's... Uh, the other one, yeah, explosives just do those two. So this way, Sammy will uh, be a real person in the, you know, tough. She'll be really tough. Plus, she'll be persuasive to get what she wants. Now, that's all done. Getting my characters built up nicely. So next stop will be Colorado Springs downtown. Yeah, we're going to do another step for unwelcome guests. You see, we got someone's name from the refugees, and yeah... That person we're going to have a nice talk to for smuggling him in. That'll be the last time, though. I mean, I'm going to put my foot down on this one. Zero, 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 seven, nine, four, seven, nine, four. There you go. We'll go inside Colorado Springs downtown, talk to his mama person, and tell her to knock it off. You can also do the other choice too. Say, yeah, go ahead and do it. Either way, one or the other will supply you with a crew for the garage. The hell do you want from Mama Carter? Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Shit. I knew I shouldn't have trusted those assholes, but they were the only ones who deal with me. Guess I know why they're so flexible on their price. <laughs> nah, I owe you for keeping those refugees safe. Ain't nobody else around here who's willing to lift a finger for them. So, uh, what's it gonna be, hmm? You know I was breaking the city's law, conspiring with smugglers and all that. You gonna haul me in? You don't know Mama so well. She ain't gonna stop helping those folks no matter what anyone says. Oh no, you ain't. You'll have to go through us first. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. 
Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. Oh boy, yeah, I took a hit on the refugees. Now, here's the thing. It didn't hurt me much because, you see, I kept on helping out the refugees more and more and more. It just got a little bit down. Not bad enough. The 100 families, however, I'm going to get a nice boost from them. And plus, I get a nice bonus for uh, pulling off what I just uh, pulled off, too. Now, next stop is the rich area. Yeah. That area, so this way I could turn in this story mission. Unwelcome guests. And since I did all the other stuff, full house too. So that's like a two and one type of deal. After that, I'll end the video for the uh, place because uh, Angela wants us to get a certain companion freed. Yeah, definitely that. So let's go ahead and finish this up. We'll call it a two for one special that we finish. Hope a bunch of experience points and everybody be somewhat happy. I say to that. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. As am I. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit. And I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. If you uh, didn't know, I did this uh, previously on a dummy save just to, uh, you know, finish up that uh, No Time for Distraction trophy slash achievement path. If you uh, did all the other stuff in full house from getting the garage, getting the armory, and etc. Basically, fully upgrading the Ranger HQ, you will earn the trophy slash achievement on that, at that point. Now, here's a recap for today's video. Number one, we did uh, Thicker Than Water after a talk to Angela. Yeah, her from uh, Wasteland 1 and 2. We complete Thicker Than Water. Then we finish Unwelcome Guests, take off some of the refugees. The hundred families, they're very happy. Now in the next video, we're going to bust someone out of a secret prison. Well, this is it from my Wasteland 3 Part 20 walkthrough video. Thicker than water and unwelcome guests complete. This Lord Fent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.